Hey guys, Jonas here. Today I'm gonna start something a little bit different. Rob and I have a lot of friends in the industry that are experts within a variety of fields of filmmaking and photography. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to every once in a while do some interviews and have them tell their stories so we can get a good, good idea of how it is to work within all these different fields of you know this business. So today I'm gonna meet with one of my friends, Christina Karliczek Skoglund, who is an award-winning cinematographer who's worked on big productions all over the world. We're gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> how are Hi. you? Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. Good. Oh, he's awake. Yeah, he's awake. He's still awake. So. Okay. I'm down to like three. Okay. Okay. So, tell me first of all. Tell me again. What's your name? And and in in short, like, what do you do? My name is Christina Karliczek Skoglund. I'm a camera woman. I'm specialized on wildlife filming, so that's what I've been doing pretty much for the last 10 years. You've been shooting on some big productions with a lot of people, basically. What is it like? Well, it's, it's quite interesting. I've been working on really big productions with a lot of people, very specialized, everyone having their own little nerdy thing they work on. But I've also been working on production where I've just been me and someone else out in the field, uh, really waiting, trying to get this animal behavior and this very special shot. So it's, it's quite diverse, you know, either with loads of people or very much down to being in the field basic wildlife filming it's it's really interesting <clears throat> i know a lot of the people that are in this uh community they're they're beginners i want to want to get a feel for what patience means to you as the filmmaker focusing on behavior yeah it's it's really tough sometimes because the patience thing is it's like is really eating on me sometimes but it's so important and also it's not just waiting for animal behavior sometimes you really want to have you know you wait for the best light as well because that's a key thing you i mean you can have the best behavioral shot but it doesn't go into this like top-notch level if it's not in, in good lighting and to be absolutely ready. So you, you just got to make sure your camera is always at any time ready to shoot. Um, so, you know, really be thinking about when you take your pee break, etc., etc. So tell me, how long have you waited for something that you were hoping was going to happen? Oh, for example, I've waited 10 days to, uh, or actually I think even more to get polar bear predating on seals it it was something that wasn't filmed at that time so we were really keen to to trying to film that um, and what happened was we saw tracks of the polar bear all the time we were we were a team 24 hour standby um, trying to get this shot but then this fog came and when the fog was gone again the polar bear had attacked the seal you know, that's, that, that's a really tough one. <laughs> Tell me why I can't show a lot of the clips from this scene. Well, it's, uh, I often don't own any of the footage I've been shooting and we, you know, I sign all these like million paper pages <laughs> of uh, licensing rights. So we are often not able to share anything on Facebook of what we're doing or, you know, the, the contents, what we will be shooting and how and, uh, also, I can't, you know, I often don't get uh, to see uh, the production unless it's on television myself or someone sends me a DVD. <laughs> so, I'm really curious, a couple of tips that you would give to uh, people that want to become uh, cinematic filmmakers. It's about make yourself familiar and go out with, with the camera yourself, trying to do little stories. I mean, that's, that's how I started out with underwater filming as well. I mean, I've, I was out with a camera all the time underwater. So, I mean, you need to, you need to practice it. It's got to be like your, you know, like your second nature. You need to know by heart with closed eyes which buttons to push. If you, can, if you have any chance, just go out in the best light hour, meaning like early morning or late evening. It's so much bringing so much more dramatic effect into your images. And if you can possibly time that, I think that's the best, um, your, your best 
bad, really. Give me one favorite moment that you've had. There's been a lot of moments that's been absolutely amazing because something totally different happened. But I think one of the moments was we were trying to film sperm whales and we worked very closely with a researcher on the boat. We had observed this group of whales for quite a while and they were doing something which was a little bit out of the usual pattern, but still they congregated and we went into the water. But once we got underwater, we noticed we had gotten right into a birth situation of a sperm whale. So, but that ended up with us divers being chased off by the whale. So I had a, had a like a 10 meter sperm whale coming swimming to, right towards me with a fully open mouth with an obvious threatening gesture uh, because I must have looked like a shark. That's really why I love this stuff too. But I, at that moment, I also thought a little bit, well, this might have been the last uh, day of my life, potentially. <laughs> but I just pulled up my legs and the sperm whales dove below me. <laughs> last thing that I'm curious about, uh, obviously, Christina has done some really awesome work, uh, but I'm curious, because if you look at the demographics of our community, there's a majority of males in this community. Why do you think that is? And what can we tell to upcoming females that want to do this? Well, I mean, yes, there's probably less, um, less women around in technical jobs, but still, um, you know, it's a really nice field to explore. So I think we, we should, you know, I'm, I'm happy if there's, if there's more women taking interest. And I think channels like this are a great way to learn and to, to share within a community. So I am hoping that it's reaching also more women. And I want to thank Christina for, for doing this. We're hopefully going to do more stuff in the future. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'm going to send some links to how uh, people can get in, uh, in contact with Christina if, they, if they're interested in more um, uh, cinematic work. All right, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this. See you next week. Oh, we're going to shoot. I was going to meet her here at the museum. They don't open for another hour. Wow, we managed to get in there. Yeah. Okay, well that didn't quite work out the way we planned it. <laughs> I think outside. Yeah, okay. All right, let's give this another go. Yep. <laughs>